everybody. Welcome to Create a Life You Love. Um, this is Tony Green, and today we are doing the business version of Create a Life You Love. One most important thing when you're creating anything is your passion. You can create something that you don't love, but it's always going to be work. You're always going to be working. You're always going to be um, trying to, it, it'll always feel like a struggle, okay? Like when you're in a relationship with someone and you don't, you're not in love with that person, a lot of times it seems like it's a complete struggle because you're working at it. You're faking it. In creating a business or working or a career, any of that, the number one thing is passion. Do you love what you're doing? Do you want that result? If you don't, that's the first and most important thing to fix. So I'm Tony Green. I'm a psychic medium. I air my show, um, Psychic Medium Tony Green, every Monday at noon. And then I try to follow it up with this show. I'm going to start talking about how to create the work, business, or career that you want and love today. That is one of the most important things to me because we spend more time on our business, on our career, doing what we do to bring in money than we spend doing anything else. Most of the time, we spend more time working than we do sleeping. So if we're going to be in a place trying to create a career, trying to create a job, trying to create a business, it needs to be something that comes from the heart, something we are driven to do something we are 100% this is it I love it and I want it and I'm not going to quit it there are so many business owners that I have worked with that I know that I care about deeply people who are prof in careers um, professional athletes um, uh and even people just in, in regular, not regular jobs, but that, that work for other companies. The, the happiest people are not the people who make the most money. They're the people who are doing exactly what they want to do. They're the people that are waking up every morning and they're happy to go to work. They're happy to do what they're doing at work work. They have so much passion and drive for it. It doesn't matter what it is. It matters how you feel about what it is or what you're doing. Every I've been very, very, very blessed. I mean, I cannot tell you or express how grateful I am because every single career I've ever had, everything I've ever done, I have 1 million percent loved. If I didn't, I was out the door as quickly as I was in the door. If they sold me, it's going to be this, this, and this, and I walked in and it wasn't, I was done. I was out. I don't have that thing that says, well, give it an, you know, in a job, in, with a job. I don't have that thing that says, well, give it another week, give it another month. Let's see what a no. new, if I'm not feeling it, I'm not doing it. It's just not happening. Okay. Now, having said that, how do you know what your passion is? How do you know what you're really passionate about, what you love, what you want to do, what you'll love creating? Well, it's in front of you most of the time. It's that thing you do most often. It's what you research. It's what you look about. It's what you talk about with your friends that they kind of look at you like, oh, my God, calm down. <laughs> um, it's that thing that makes you get up like in the morning early and go do. 
And so for me, what one of my passions is cycling. I love cycling. I don't want to become a professional cyclist. I don't want to be um, d- doing it for a living. But I that's that. <laughs> there are very few things that will get me out of bed early in the morning. Cycling is <laughs> one of them. <laughs> the other ones, that's for another show. Um, but I will tell you that I know when you're doing what you love. When I was working in a health club and I was teaching spinning and yoga and cardio boot camp. I couldn't, I, I, that, that was, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. When I was training people, um, in, in the fitness industry, I one of hands down loved it. Absolutely. When I was doing fitness and lingerie modeling, loved it hands down loved it. Okay. Doing what I do now, love it. When I did promotions and marketing, loved it. Everything has a season. Everything comes to an end or transitions. For some people, you can have your passion and you have one passion from the beginning of your career to your end of your career. Others, it might transition. You might go from from here to here to here and end up here. It's okay, no matter how that works, as long as you're doing what you love, as long as you have this passion for it. And I'm going to tell you, nobody can tell you what your passion is. Nobody can look at you and say, your passion is this. Your passion is what you find yourself searching for, what you find yourself looking for online, what you find yourself, again, talking about continually. Now, I have friends that are inventors. I have friends that are doctors and attorneys and friends that are bartenders or teach music. I have friends that are, I'm trying to, I, I'm, I'm like trying to have all of um, it come up. I, I, this is what I'll tell you about each and every one of them. It doesn't matter what they do. The people that are doing what they love end up making the most money. And on top of that, they never complain about their work. They'll get up early. They'll stay late. They'll put in all the hours. And you'll never, ever hear them complain about it. All they'll do is talk about how the good aspects of their job or their career or their business. They'll talk about what they love about it. They're the ones who bring that good energy to the table. They're always happy. They seem like they're so happy-go-lucky, sometimes so much so that it annoys you. Well, that's a good thing. Jump on that. Don't you want to be that person for a change? I want to be that person, right? We all do. Um, So when you're thinking about your passion and a business, if you're wanting to start a business, the one thing I tell people is don't think you have to start with everything. Start with what you have and move forward with that. Don't think you need to know everything. Those are the two things that stop or break people before they even get started. If you think you need to have everything before you go into it, you don't. If you love fitness, start as a trainer. Start, it, start with a cardio classes outside. If you, what, whatever you love, there's a way to start it that is allows you to start it today, allows you to start it as a side job or a side career or a side business. One of the biggest mistakes people make when starting a business 
is they think they have to have a big elaborate space, a huge space. They're seeing the end game and that's great. Don't, don't get me wrong. The end game is really important having that. This is where I want to end up is really important. But let me tell you, when you first start where you think you're going to end up and where you actually end up are can be two completely pl different places. If you're listening to the universe. Okay. If you're going with the flow, well, the, the, the first biggest mistake is they think they have to have everything, the big place, the most beautiful things, this, that, okay. You just, if you don't have the cash coming in, you just put yourself in debt and you're working to pay off that debt. That's going to take away from the passion of your project. Okay. Scale, be practical, work it in a way that allows you to grow with your business. The second mistake people make is they think they need to know everything. Sometimes knowledge is disempowering. If you go into something thinking you have to know everything, you will never go into it because we can never know anything everything, not about any particular business. And if you think you know everything, the universe is going to throw things in your lap to continue to show you, oh, you don't know this yet. You don't know because it's impossible to know everything about any aspect of any career, job, business. Don't think you need to know everything. Don't think you need to have everything. You start where you start. I have friends that uh, I have a friend who has a significant amount of money and he has created businesses with patents. He's, he's created products with patents, created the business and then sold the business. But every time he sells his business and starts a new one, he doesn't do it elaborately. Mm -mm. He starts small because he knows what his goal is. He's going to get it to a certain point and he's going to turn it around to somebody else. The second part of that is don't think you have to go so big and hire people or have this person or that person or the other person to do all these different things. Some of the most incredible businesses are run with three people. There's a lot of heart and soul in them. Some of the most incredible attorneys I know and doctors I know have, a, a, let's go attorneys, have a small, like a, I'm not going to say small because it's a, an extremely successful business. They, they, they can't even take people on because they're so successful, but it's them their office space, and the, sometimes the person who answers the phone, most of the time they're answering their own phone. Now, if you have the vision to have more, then grow with your business. Don't think you have to have it all walking through the door because you're going to put yourself under before you have a chance to get up, okay? Doctors that I know... There are doctors I know that work in hospitals and they're happy. Don't get me wrong. But some of the happiest doctors I know are those who have clinics, their own clinic, their own little team, and they get to do what they want the way they want it. Those are the happiest doctors I know. And they do very well. I mean, they can't even take on more patients. So the idea is, if this is your vision, that's okay. If this is your vision, that's okay. But stick to your vision. And it, it doesn't have to be what somebody else's vision is. It can be exactly what you want it to be. It can be exactly the way you want it to be. And but for, for, for the love of everything, do not think you have to have everything before you start. Don't think... I have to have this big building and these chandeliers and this and that, that, this art. And no, P 
People aren't coming there for that. They're coming there for you and what you're putting on the table. And again, don't think you need to know everything. Because again, you will never get started if you need to know everything. Needing to know everything will, you'll never get out of bed in the morning. Just you won't get out of bed in the morning. It won't happen. You, you can't, I, I'm a psychic and I don't know everything. I know people expect me to. It's crazy. They think like what my so unoriginal. What am I thinking right now? I, I don't really care what you're thinking right now. Don't ask me that question. Like it's none of my business what you're thinking right now. Psychics don't go in your mind and figure out your every little thought. That's not how it works. It's not how we want it to work. If I was knowing what you're thinking right now, I'd probably be pretty terrified as a matter of fact. <laughs> um, so I don't, don't think you need to know everything. Don't think you need to have everything. When you start your business, don't have, have goals, but not super high expectations. Okay. This goes for if you have a patent, if you're starting a career, if you're starting a um, a job, have goals, but let go of your expectations. Now, there's a huge difference between those two. Expectations can sometimes don't 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 send me emails and comments and call my phone and tell me all about this. Expectations can sometimes be a sense of entitlement. Like something is owed to you. I expect this. Okay, but that's you. There are other people involved. Okay. So don't have expectations. Don't have expectations of other people. I don't care if you're married. Don't have expectations of your partner um, for a lot of things. If you, if you have a boss, if you have a job, don't have expectations. Because nobody, for the most part, people cannot live up to our expectations. Okay, they can't. They just can't live up to our expectations. Because they don't understand them, know them, or a lot of times care about them. Okay? They're too busy worrying about their expectations. But one million percent have goals. So I'm starting here and there's a song and, and spirit always speaks to me through, through music. Um, and it's usually rap, which is so funny because I can't sing. And if you, I can't do, especially can't sing rap, but um, we started at the bottom. Now we're here. We're started at the bottom. Now we're at the top. So the, the idea is you don't need to start up here, have goals, start where you are and grow with it, grow with it, grow with it. The most successful business owners I know have started where they were and then had their goals and grew. I know a guy um, who started with um, a corner, a, not like a corner bar, but with a bar. And he grew it, sold it, got another, grew it did what he needed to do. And now, um, and this is, this is an adult show. And I'm not saying we agree or disagree with it, what anybody does, but we live in a real world here. Now he owns a chain of adult um, clubs, like adult dance clubs, strip clubs. I said it. Oh my God. I said it. Strip clubs. Um, and I did promotional work for him. I went in when he first opened um, the first, the first club and I said, you know what, do this, 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 and that, you know, start with calendars, start with DVDs, start with this, start with that, get these promotional items out there. And that one of the things I did for him, he's like, I don't want to spend the money on that. I go, well, why would you? And sometimes you need somebody else from the outside to come in. And even though he's a brilliant businessman and say, listen, the way we're going to do this calendar is we're going to have advertisers. All the people who are coming to you right now and asking you to like uh, buy our beer, 
buy our this, buy, let me do your uh, build out, let me do this, let me, they, they're going to be sponsors in your calendar. If they want your money, you're going to get their money. This is a real world, tit for tat, folks. <laughs> oh, that's so funny because it's strip clubs. <laughs> so we started with the calendar, which, by the way, he made profit on profit on profit from. The advertisers paid for the calendar, and so he didn't have to pay a penny for that, and he made money off of that. Second, he sold the calendars and made money from that. And from the calendars, he did a, you know, DVD, it all profit on profit on profit. You start where you are and you go and don't think you, he didn't like when I say you don't need to know everything, don't worry, people will come in and they'll help you. They'll give you that. Like as soon as I brought up calendars and this and that, his first thing is, I don't want to pay for that. He, he couldn't see. He could see making money off of alcohol. He could see making money off of this or off of that, off of food. He could. He's like, that's not practical. I don't see making money off of that. But even if he would have just straight up paid for the calendar, and he didn't even have to pay for the photographer because the photographer had advertising in there. Hello. I mean, one more time. There's always a way, right? If it doesn't happen today, there's a way. It might not happen today. It'll happen the next day, okay? Um, so he couldn't, He his mind wasn't working in that way. So here I step in and I'm saying, no, 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 listen to me. This is what we're going to do. And this is how we're going to do it. And this is how it's going to work. Boom, beautiful, work that way. So don't think you need to know everything and be, be willing to listen to people. Even if they don't do what you're doing, I don't own a bar. I've never owned a bar. I don't own a strip club. I've never owned a strip club. But I, I can walk in and say, this is what needs to be done. This is how we're going to do it. Another friend of mine who owned um, golf courses, when he first did the golf courses, I walked in. I said, okay, I've never played golf, never any of that thing. But I was able to make a list of, I don't know how many things promotional ideas and ways he could run the business that would uh, bring people uh, and do things along those lines. You don't need to know anything about the business. You need to be open to ideas and you need to be open to ideas from other people. So don't don't ever think you know everything or need to know everything because somebody could be standing in front of you with a million dollar or a hundred thousand dollar or even a ten dollar idea and and you'll miss it. So go in thinking, I don't know everything. I'm still in school. Even if I have this business, I'm still in school. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. I'm going to take every ounce of information that comes my way and I'm going to flow with it. I'm going to grow with it. I'm going to go with it. So... Whew. Okay. Now, I forgot where that started, but we're going to keep going. <laughs> I think there was a point to all of that. I kind of just let things come when I'm doing this. So law of attraction and business. Once you have your idea, if you, you whether you want to be in a business, whether you want to um, own a business, work for a business, have a career. Oh, yes. Don't have expectations, but do have goals. You're going to start here, but you're going to grow to here. That's just how it works. That's how it works every single time. And that's how it works best. Once you start, keep in mind that you are going to keep growing. And you may not know where all of that growth comes from. When I first started, I just started with sessions. And I, I still do the sessions. I turned into teaching. I taught, I teach programs, um, intuitive programs and weight loss programs and many different programs. And I taught it for the Milwaukee Public School Systems and Recreation Systems. And I integrated hypnosis and healing with that. And it was wildly successful. But that idea came to me in the, the most bizarre way. 
I didn't go into my business thinking this is what I'm going to do. Once I had my website up and I was starting uh, having clients, someone reached out to me and said, hey, will you? we have a radio station. We want you to be on our station and take callers. I said, absolutely. Even though I didn't know anything about it, how it was going to happen, I said yes. And that's how I grew a little more. And then I went in, I was offered a, a TV show from somebody who had me as a guest on their TV show. They said, you know what, you need, you need, a, you should consider doing a show. And that's how the TV aspect of it started. So even though going into this, I didn't even think of those things. I did have a goal and I still do have a, uh, two goals that I'm working towards. Sometimes the universe will bring you better, right? My idea of a TV show might have been this, but now it's so much better because I'm being live streamed through so many stations and I'm being, um, yeah, streamed on so many podcasts. I would have never thought of that as a goal, but it came in. I was willing to grow. I didn't think I knew everything. I was open to expansion. With having goals and no expectations, you will be surprised every single time. Having goals, it can be your financial goals. I want to grow to this point. I want to bring in this amount. I want to be at this space every, you know, week, month, year, whatever it is. Okay. And then even if you do not see it happening immediately, it's okay. It doesn't happen immediately sometimes. Sometimes it takes a minute for your energy to catch up with your goal. And let me say that in another way. Sometimes it takes a minute for your belief system about what you deserve to match what you want. You might think, I deserve uh, or I want to make six figures. But someplace inside of you, there's a belief system that says that's not possible. I don't deserve that. Who do I think I am? Whatever your belief system is. Sometimes it takes a moment for your belief system to catch up with what you want. But you just keep working towards it every day and let it happen a little bit at a time. And it will happen. It absolutely will happen. Okay. And you should have those same goals for every single aspect of your business and actually your life, 100%. So not only with finances, but every aspect of your business to have, to be surprised with new ideas, with new ways to grow, with new clients or customers that are, and always say this, that are in alignment with me and what I do and how I work. It does you no good to bring in people, whether they work for you or their customers, that are not in alignment with how, what you do and how you work. If you're saying just bring me people, you might get the bottom of the barrel people. A lot of times in relationship, and in work, people say, I just need someone instead of being exact about it. Be exact. Have that goal for the type of employee. Have that goal for the type of client. We are coming near the end of the show. And I just want to remind you that it is your job to create the miracles in your life.